Maiden of the Needle is a fantasy seinen about an 18-year-old who is reincarnated into another world. This is the manga adaptation of the light novel under the same name. This story is about Yui, who has kind of a rough start in this new world. She's born into a noble's family who are known for a special magical sewing technique called bless weaving. As you can see here, she's pretty mistreated, but we're going to get to that in a second. So they go into her background a bit, where her life was cut short as an 18-year-old high school student. Now once reborn, even as a baby, she could see little fairies. Here they are. It's a rare ability called Faysight, so not everybody has it. As the years go by, she realizes one thing about the fairies. Some of the ones that visit her look like they have tattered clothes. So she figures out this magical ability she has to make thread and sew all of the little fairies' clothes, which makes them super happy and they come and visit her all the time. She also has a younger sister and they used to be really close, but that's about to change because when she turns 10, she's given a needle and this little spider, which spins the threads for her, and her father is giving her the task of trying to do the bless weaving, but no one's ever taught her how to do it, so she doesn't know what to do. In his anger, he hits her, deems her basically useless if she doesn't know how to do the bless weaving skill, and basically from that point for the next five years, she's treated inhumanely. So they put her in this room where she's not allowed to leave. The only thing she can do is work and stitch clothes together, and she can only get food if she finishes her tasks. Her sister even turns on her. So she's basically all by herself, malnourished, working to the bone, until one day this guy comes and decides to buy her from her father to come work for him. Okay, that's the first chapter. I'm gonna give full transparency on this one. I read about half of the novel, and there were a couple of things in it that I read that were kind of ick. They were not necessarily conducive to the plot, but they just gave me the ick. Now for the manga, there was definitely one thing that they skipped over, so I was happy about that. So for me, with the descriptions and everything, the manga was way easier and more enjoyable to read than the light novel. But that's just me. I'm just, again, full transparency here. Also, as a heads up, I'm going to let you know the male lead is like in his 40s. But that's all I'm going to tell you on that. Will I continue to pick this up? I think for now I will. I want to see what else they skip over in the manga. But I still overall like the story and the art style. 